So, uh, good uh, afternoon from Area 51 Raceway. So, I am here doing another tray interior, and I'm doing it for 132nd modified. So, basic things that you could get are a for sale sign from Walmart, and this is all it is, and you cut it out, you paint it, and then you, uh, you know, you could use either hand paint like I did, you know, enamel paint, or you could spray paint it either way. I just did it that way. It's give it that little aluminum effect. <clears throat> and what I've done is I've added my tray driver, and I had to cut my tray driver down because it, he was kind of tall and it was hitting the ceiling of the uh, car and making this bow. So I trimmed it down so that it'll be sufficient enough. And then what I've done is I've used uh, some 330 seconds plastic strut, and that's this right here, plastic strut 90603. It's just hollow tube stuff, pretty flexible. And I cut it and then I drill a little 330 seconds hold and then kind of shove these in there. And then what I've done is they were a little bit longer than this just to kind of see what size I would need. I'd put the tray in here <clears throat> and see where I was sitting at with the you know with the roll bar part. And then what you could do is you kind of get an idea how tall it is. And that looks pretty good. I'll put it put a bar across. Put a diagonal one back here to give it that illusion and come off the top and put one in front of the driver. But you could do that <coughs> with it out of the car and what you do is just build it here. And what I use also is a uh, UV glue. So I'll get a UV glue and I like where that's at. And I'll put a little spot of UV glue like that. And it looks like it's kind of like a little welding area too, like they welded it. And then I'll just use my UV glue and my UV light and uh, leave it on there. That's UV glue is wonderful. And you just let it uh, do a little cook in there and then it'll hold that in place, just like so. And let a few seconds and I'll let off of it. And uh, that should be pretty much cured. That's what's nice about UV glue. It's really, really, really cool. And then that's it. And uh, the roll bar's in there. Not gonna go anywhere. Then you can paint over that too. You can paint your roll bar, which I will later. And then your tray driver, I would like on the last video I did about the land barge build interiors, you just mainly make a little hole and then put a little screw. So if you UV glue this and this does get hit hard, the driver may pop out. So this will secure the driver in there for good. And you could use any type of small screw to hold it in. <clears throat> That's the driver and I've kind of pre-fitted him. And then I'll just go here and put a little bit more UV glue on that. And I'll it with my UV light just like that and a couple more seconds and uh, that should do it and then that one's in there then what I could do also is make my bar for the top I'll probably put it behind here like that because if I put it like that it'll be too tall and then it'll it'll kind of hit the roof of the car. So I'll put it like that at an angle, which is fine. I mean, you could put it in front or back. You're just making an illusion that there's a bar there. And then I'll cut this to fit and glue it on there with my UV glue. And then I'll make a bar for across here like that. Make sure you can see that. Make one across like that. Diagonal like that, you know. And then you can make another one if you want and then make one for the front. And then have a little piece come up here so it looks like a roll cage in the car. And that's what you're doing with this interior. And then also, if you want to make a little dashboard, and this is like a angle plastic strut stuff. And uh, this is called Styrene Angle. And this one is uh, 90506. And you get the stuff from Hobby Link. A lot of them have that stuff for plastic strut, st plastic strut stuff. And then I can make myself my own little dashboard like that. You know, like paint it and then put little gauges or put it that way, however you want to do it. It looks like it's got some little aluminum dashboard. You can even trim the, you know, round off the corners if you want with a file or you get your little Dremel and just kind of trim it like so, see? Kind of round off the corners. Like that. And you can just, you know, clean it up. I'm just doing that as an example real quick. See, and it's... It's rounded out so you got yourself, you know, no corners and then 
Got a little dashboard. You can put, you know, paint little gauges where you want to do in there. Put a decal. If you have some decal with gauges, sometimes some model cars do come with that if you have some lying around. Uh, but mainly I would probably paint this and then glue this on here real glue, uh, real good. Uh, I think UV will be fine. It shouldn't pop off. You know, the driver's the one that would pop off the most, I would believe. And, or you could even use super glue, which will be fine because you super glue will hold it on real good too, besides UV glue, and then put UV glue around the edge if you want, and then paint it. For the steering wheel, I'll use uh, it is the uh, picture hanger stuff that I talked about when I made seatbelts. And it's this stuff you buy at Walmart, 99 cents. And it's just for, you know, when you're hanging photos. And what I'll do is I'll put this in his hand and I'll make a steering wheel out of it. And I like this because it's a little flexible and you could shape it. And then you could cut it real short and then put it in his little hands right here. See, like so. Because it fits in there perfectly. And paint it black and you got yourself a little steering wheel he's holding on to. So, I mean, there's a lot of materials out there if you could find. If you find something better, let me know, too. This is just something I found that I saw when I was walking around, and you get those ideas. And Harry's done that, too. That's how he got the moons, the little baby moon idea, because he saw the furniture, you know, uh, how would you say, furniture pin, uh, furniture finishing buttons, and he just, just an idea popped into his head. So, I mean, there's a lot of things out there that you could use to simulate, you know, stuff, but... I'll use this and then I'll fit it into the car when it's all done and painted. I'll slide it in here. <clears throat> I will probably do is tape it right here. I use some reinforcement tape and UV glue it a little. And that's pretty much a tray interior right there. See, and once I get the rest of the stuff done. And uh, of course, you don't want to make sure this hits your tires, so I'll tuck this up and tuck it up like that. And that's pretty much an interior there, as you can see. And you see also with this car, I use uh, some Plastistrut also, 60,000s, and kind of, since I didn't have an engine, I made this kind of like a cover and put this, this is actually drywall sandpaper and just cut it out and glued it on the styrene. And then it kind of covers all the stuff that's, you know, kind of hides the rest of this here, the wires and the works. Maybe not, maybe not completely, but it'll look pretty cool like that. And uh, instead of having just the hood with, you know, if you don't have an engine, you could do stuff like that to hide it. And uh, that's that right there. So just little tricks I wanted to show you that you could do with making 132nd tray interiors, which they're not hard to do. I really had a hard time with interiors at first, but with thank God that we have UV glue that really helps a lot. And again, I'll build one around this and you know shape it I could even do this do an angle like that if you want to make it like an angle like this you don't have to make one across and it's just uh you know little ideas which I'll probably do that <clears throat> just like put it like that and make a little dash and just the uh, small pieces of material you could do to make something on your own and again this is like for sale sign uh, styrene you know 32nd rod and then styrene angle and you just uh your tray driver if you don't have any tray drivers like this uh electric dreams does have tray drivers they're pretty they're pretty good i saw them in 332nd it's it's uh i like them and they're not real expensive if you go on ebay they have a lot of expensive tray drivers which i think are kind of ridiculous so i just uh this i got from a friend this um this particular uh driver which is a uh, resin driver so but you can get the ones from electric dreams uh, i know i don't think slot car corner has it i know slot car corner i go to them a lot but i don't know if they have any i haven't seen any but these are the ones from electric dreams there's the 132nd driver as you can see they're pretty flat and you can put a head on there and uh and forgive me, Slot Car Corner, if I didn't see any, because I, I don't know if I've seen any on your website, but this is, you know, a trade driver for 132nd, and you can make yourself, you know, get this, and make it, this driver is even smaller than this one, but, you know, there's different things you could do to get um, stuff like that. Um, most of the stuff that I do like getting is from Slot Car Corner, because they really provide a lot of parts for you, and readily available, and they make, you know, got good deals. Um, but again, you can, you know, 
if you could find a tray interior on eBay, that's cheap. You could use any tray interior, the, you know, tray driver for 132nd. That'll work. But this is what I have, and this is what I'm using, and this is just little ideas I throw out to everybody if they, you know, have a hard time with interiors or don't know what to do when they do 132nd, you know, tray interiors. Because 132nd ones are a little bit uh, tougher to, to come, you know, to make because they're smaller. I find the 124th ones are a little bit, 125th scale, excuse me, ones are a lot easier than these ones. <laughs> but I ain't going to complain. I try and adapt and do what I can. But uh, that's it from Area 51 Raceway. I just wanted to show you that and uh, say uh, take care and have fun racing and Happy New Year to you.